Strong storms blew through the natural state overnight, leaving damage behind. Good evening and thank you so much for joining us on Fox 16 News at 9. I'm Stephanie Sharp. We do have team coverage of the storm damage tonight. We want to start with Alexis Wainwright. She is in Logan County talking to people impacted by the fast moving weather there. I'm standing right here on the foundation of that mobile home. Now we want to show you just how strong those winds were from that tornado, literally blowing the steps from the front of that home 14 feet away. Heavy rain, strong winds and lightning was just the beginning Friday night as storms ripped through Logan County. Saturday, as the sun rose, you could see just how severe the storms were. This mobile home was picked up and tossed several feet away from where it was. The National Weather Service confirming this damage was from an EF2 tornado with 115 mile per hour winds. The Logan County Sheriff's Office posting more damaged pictures on Facebook. The Sheriff's Office says roofs were torn off of homes and chicken houses were destroyed. The Logan County judge declared a disaster and Red Cross has been contacted. Friday night, our crews talked with the Midway Fire Chief Larry Faith after the storm hit. Sounded like a freight train come over the top of us. Had a bunch of power lines, trees down in the road, uh, trees on houses. Chief Faith says the family living there wasn't hurt. They were in a storm shelter overnight. This wasn't the only home that was destroyed during that storm last night. We also talked to fire officials who confirmed no injuries were reported, but there's still a lot left here that has to be cleaned up. Reporting in Midway, Alexis Wainwright, back to you in the studio.